Hi, I'm Rabel, and I have been gay since I was young. Since I was young, I always tried to cover up who I was and who I loved. Then I got old. Since I was young, I always thought that 25 would be the last year of my life. Um, I grew up kind of all over the place. We moved so much. Um, but from middle school through high school, I was in Houston, Texas. Um, and, you know, I knew that I was gay from probably third or fourth grade. Um, I don't know that I knew a word for it, and I definitely didn't have any real um, person to look up to that, that I thought, well, I'm kind of like that person. Um, and I grew up in the church, uh, like evangelical, um, born again, so also from a young age, I kind of felt it inside me that there was something wrong with me since I was young. I went to rehab for the first time when I was 20 years old. Um, and I was so broken and so scared of the next day and the day after that and 20 years. Um, I used to have a recurring nightmare where I would wake up um, and look over and there would be a woman next to me and I would roll over and look down and look at my hands and there was a wedding ring. Um, and it haunted me for so long. Um, and just that feeling of there's something wrong with me, there's something inside of me that I have no control over that is wrong. When I came out to one of the, the people at the church who um, also had same-sex attraction, which is what they call it. Um, but he was celibate, and so I was like, okay, I, I can do that. Um, and, you know, I thought I was gonna die the next morning. I called one of my best friends, who is still to this day one of my best friends, and and she came over and I, and I thought I was gonna die. I thought I, I couldn't walk outside. I was scared of everything and everyone. Um, and the, the few months after that, you know, going to Bible study and and quite literally trying to pray the gay away. Um, and I have a giant rainbow painted in my apartment that I walk through every day. And I think maybe even subconsciously part of that was me just saying like, I'm here, I'm still here, I'm still alive, I'm living and breathing and speaking and connecting and loving so deeply and and when I experienced, I came out because I met my first boyfriend in church, funny enough. It was like Romeo and Romeo running off on a unicorn. Um, and we got kicked out of the church and there were so many people that quite literally wouldn't talk to us. Like, okay, if there's this God out there who loves us so much, then how is this wrong? How is me loving someone, selflessly loving someone, wanting to care for someone, and having that be mutual, how is that wrong? And the fact, the capital F fact is that's not wrong. And, and we're not born with something in us that's wrong. We're born with something in us that is viewed as wrong, as other. And I'm just so thankful to have people in my life that celebrate me um, for who I am. Um, and I, if you're watching this, I'm just sending you so much love. Um, if you're in the church and they're telling you that you're wrong and they're telling you that you're going to hell, please, please don't listen. Please don't listen. Um, you're not the only person that sat there and had that spat at them. Um, and I know how hard it can be. I really, really, really do. Uh, and, and I hope that you can hold on. Um, sometimes for dear life um, and and you find a way um, because you're not alone I swear to God you're not alone